Looking for the best and easiest way to varnish your oil painting you just completed? I'm going to show you how to do it in this video coming up right now. Hey guys, Wall for Games coming at you from my creative control playlist where I bring you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials just like this one right here. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. A lot of beginning painters want to hang their very first or a couple first paintings on their wall. And I don't blame you. Put a lot of work and you put a lot of hours into it and you're very, very prideful of what you created. I've been there myself. But there's one more step you have to do before you actually put it on your wall. And that is varnishing your painting. There's two reasons you want to do this. It, one, it's going to add a protective coating. And two, depending on what type of spray you get, it's actually going to add a lot of saturation and pull those colors out. And the product that I like to use for beginning painters or even uh, veteran painters or professional painters is this product right here. This is a varnish spray. It's a Winsor Newton. It's moderately priced, usually somewhere between eight and $12 USD. Um, you can pick it up at your local craft store on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below so that way you guys can find the best deal for it. But this is a perfect product for you. I use it all the time. And if you're a beginning artist, you're usually scared to put varnish with a brush onto your canvas. This takes out all of the worrisome. So let me show you the proper way of putting a spray varnish on your canvas. Let's go to the tutorial right now. Safety comes first when you do spraying of a varnish because there are fumes. Make sure you open up whatever doors you have, garage doors, side doors, windows, or be outside. You want a well ventilated area for this process. When we spray coat with our varnish, we want to make sure we have a clear concept. We're going to start in the top left corner and move across our canvas in a zigzag motion. When we reach the bottom, turn our canvas 90 degrees and repeat the process again. Now that we're ready, let's go ahead and grab our clear varnish and you want to make sure you give it a good shake. That way all of the varnish inside that has settled by sitting on your shelf gets all moved around and all the chemicals can hit properly. One of the most important things that I'm going to demonstrate here is make sure you don't start on the canvas. If you do, you're going to get bleeding from the actual can itself. If you start on the canvas, you're going to see it bleed down with a circle that looks kind of like an eye. And it happens just in a few seconds, you'll see it start to bleed. So the concept is start on the outside of your canvas with your first circle and spray in and then fluff across in that zigzag motion. And this will ensure a nice even distribution of that varnish. Most manufacturers recommend you being anywhere between eight to 14 inches away from your spraying surface. Consult the back of the can or the manufacturer to see what they recommend for that particular product that you're using. When you're all good and set, make sure you start off to the side and start spraying in left to right or right to left, whichever you most feel comfortable with, all the way to the bottom of our painting. Once you have a good even distribution on the canvas there, go ahead and turn it 90 degrees and repeat the process with spraying off to the side first and working yourself left to right in a nice feather motion. If you feel like you don't have an even enough coating or you wanna want a little bit more, Go ahead and work your way from the bottom back up. It's just going to add a little more varnish. Your varnish will only take a couple of minutes to dry. I recommend doing two coats and I actually like to leave it alone for a couple hours. But once you're all happy with what you have, that varnish is one, going to protect your painting and two, bring out all those natural, beautiful colors that you work so hard to create. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I hope this quick tip tutorial was able to help enlighten you on how to clear coat your canvas with a spray varnish. I do it with all my paintings and it makes them look that much better. And don't be intimidated uh, and feel free to experiment with all the different versions out there with the high gloss, regular gloss, sheen, matte, all those things like that to see what works best for your type of style that you have for your paintings. Once again, my name is Wild for Games. If you guys feel like supporting me, you can always follow me on all of my social media, on my Twitter and Instagram. You can watch me paint all the time on Twitch. And if you want to buy any of my artwork, you can visit my Flare Dash store. All the links and things like that are below. If you also need to see the supplies I use, I also put it down there for you as well. I will see you guys in the next painting tutorial. Take care and have a good one. Peace.